What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be going through a new feature for Guild Arena, meaning anyone of a senior level, so leader or deputy, can actually come on and do your battles for you. So if you're going away on, say, vacation, just let them know and they can log in and, uh, well, they can just check their towers, their turrets and do that for you. But before we do go into the content and do some battles showing you exactly how it works, uh, watch this small clip of my partnership with Aptoid. And if you haven't been using it, make sure you're using Karzak 5 to show me some support. I really appreciate all your support. You're all fantastic. So uh, go ahead and enjoy this small clip and then you'll be back to me. Thank you for watching guys and make sure you do use that Karzak 5 if you want to support me further with that I appreciate it all thank you very much the main thing is is that you're saving money so let's cut to the video let's have a little look at what this all means uh, you can see here when people haven't attacked they've attacked a bit and uh, maybe they just got busy with life it happens right so we can just come in and we can click on the two hands that are clenched together as support and then we can just go in and do their battles for them it's very very simple uh, we can even adjust the teams like we would our own um, so let's just say you know, another good thing about this is is I can go through and I can test if people have their teams built correctly um, or if they need to adjust something say if I'm playing it and it doesn't play how I'd like it to play I can say to them hey you should have so and so a little bit faster than the other hero um, so it's very good in that aspect as well what would we use this what would we bring panda up here um, a Cindo, a bit slow here. No, we have Nasil. They have Nasil. Okay, we'll just go like this. We're going to throw it on auto. I know Nakari is a very good player. He, um, you know, he he does have everything running very smoothly. And even though I don't run my battles on auto myself, uh, the majority of the time. But I mean, look, Margarita's strength is crazy, right? It's crazy. It's just great to go onto other people's teams and, and use them to attack as well. It's always faster on auto as well. It's always faster than when we're manualing it. For some of us, it actually works better than us manualing because uh, we're just not very good. We're just not very good. You can also test how they've got their uh, turn orders set up. If if that's how you were playing, you could suggest to them that, you know, maybe change it. Oh, nice Lucifer. Okay, nice freezes. Obviously, Eric is protecting um, Hisonia here. You know, that was very easy. Um, you know, attacking someone at 1.94 million, you know, that's no easy task. I know Vidar, who is a leader of GC, um, has some very good strategies. I mean, I struggled to beat him. I free flagged him, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Um, and it's pointless us using Quint, uh, Nasil here with Sinov in that team. But he does have a Sindo, so he's, she's going to be faster. Maybe the space is faster than Sinov too. So we may... Hmm, we'll try it. I don't know, because Sinov gets a turn meter boost, I believe, when enemies or allies get frozen. So we'll have to check it. We'll have to check it if it's going to work. Damage, even with tenacity up, defense up, health up, this is crazy for Margarita. Still not enough. I mean, look, this is what happens when you come against built teams. And uh, you've got to try and beat them. You've got to try and beat them. It's, it's, <laughs> it's never easy. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. Actually, we'll throw this team against this bottom team uh, with Powell in there because of the CC. And this team here should, should beat this team. We have debuffs. We have cooldown. Oh, goodness. Not fast enough. But is Lucifer going to be enough without Gilliman? We're going to have the protection. That's lost an apple now. Okay, Lucifer's getting... Oh my goodness, it's close. Okay, wow. It's safe, but only just. Only just. Okay, so on to the second team of this one. You know, if you are doing guild battles, you should always switch around your teams because one team can't beat some teams, other teams can beat others, so... 
always mess around with it, always play around with it to see what you think is going to beat that one. So there's a CC, now we can cleanse that with Paulin and we can throw it back and voila, it's a win. It's a win. So yeah, always switch around your teams. Um, you know, don't just use the same team on the same enemy. Switch it up. It's going to help you hopefully defeat them. Seal into this team. Hmm. They should win this one. Yeah, I will. No, it won't. Wow. Oh, scary. Um, okay. Okay, this will be this may work a bit better actually. With Nasil freezing this Asindo before, you know, because she's gonna get her first turn. And this team should beat this one, I hope. We need to get that Quinlan. Yeah, okay. But then the thing is when we can beat one, it can our other team beat the other one. Okay. All right, so it'll be the second team, I think, or the third team that's going to be a struggle now. No, it is the second team. This is my concern one. Oh, was it the third? So we have no buff strip here, so that's... Agatha, is she doing enough? Let's put on to manual a second. Make sure that goes on to Slavel. We're going to pinpoint down this Catherine. Let's buff up. Protect our Hazonia. Explosion. Looks okay. Looks okay. Done this to Ellie. Ugh. Cinder's going to nuke this turn, I believe. Okay, we're fine. Final wave. Can this one be it for speed? Oh my god. Alright. They're frozen. I mean, this should clear through anyway, right? Yeah, okay. Gilliam and OP. <laughs> Gleeman is OP. Okay. Um, what else? Like, so, we, you know, I can go through and boost them up for him, depending on where our, our flags are looking against the enemy. And, uh, you know, like this bottom tower here who hasn't attacked. Nido, Machan, Anonymous. And I can just go through and do it for them. So, you know, it's always nice if, if we're losing or struggling, then I can be like, right, this person hasn't attacked. And rather than trying to pester them, say, look, you need to attack, I can just do that instead. But then they're going to get lazy, right? We're going to get lazy. Probably. Probably. But yeah, this is why I really like this feature because it's just helped us hugely. I'm sure it's helped all of your guilds hugely as well. So you haven't got to worry about that person being away f from the game for a bit. So on that note, thank you for watching. And I hope all of you appreciate the new patch on this because it is huge. It does help us a lot. So enjoy it. Um, take care. Have a great day or evening, wherever you are.